all right hey everyone it's natalie here back with another message for you guys hope everyone is doing well today so let's tap into this energy let's see what's going on we're going to start off with my shamans um dream oracle deck okay and if i uh happen to see a card that i don't understand we're going to be reading about it all right uh, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there. So please use your discernment when it comes to these readings. Okay. Um, time is fluid. Energy can be reversed. And if anyone needed a personal, you're more than welcome to email me. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this energy. Uh, what's the energy from the ancestors? What do they need us to know? This reading. Okay. So we have dragons horde. Protecting the future, number 12. I'm going to read about it. Underneath that, we have Surrender, Sky Dancers. Protecting the future and Surrender. Okay. So, Dragon Sword, it says, Okay, protecting the future, legacy, and true riches. In the dragon's hoard, jewels and precious objects scatter the ground while ancient scrolls inscribed with the wisdom teachings um, lie within reach. This is a rich opportunity and you can fill your satchel with the treasures you like best. Take the gifts offered to you and dedicate them to the well-being of all, beginning with your own. But be aware, all that glitters is not gold. Select the precious treasures that will further your spiritual growth and avoid the shiny objects that are empty of real value. Ooh. Know that the hoard does not belong to you. It belongs to our grandchildren. What is the inheritance that you wish to leave for tomorrow? What seeds are you planning that you will harvest in your old age when you are weary? What seeds will bear fruit after you are no longer here? The dragon guards the legacy of the future. All who come empty-handed or to fill only their own pockets will go lie in a dusty heap of bones. You have been allowed an entrance by virtue of your kindness, of your spiritual practice, or sheer luck. Consider as well that your present this moment is the future to the dragon. You may be the one we all have been waiting for, so do not hesitate to take what bequest has been reserved for you since the beginning of time. This is the time to be bold. Do not delay or overthink. Remember to bring an offering for the dragon, lest it believe you are its lunch. A simple prayer will do. Hmm... So this is giving me energy like a, since it said we, you've been the one that we've been waiting for. A lot of you guys, only you can do a job. Yeah, only you can do a specific job out here. And they, someone out here, it's like this energy of um, the universe trusts you guys with something. Because they know that you do things out of a pure heart or something like that. Um, therefore, you'll continue to be blessed with riches or whatever the case may be, as long as you are focused on the right things. Like, for instance, King Solomon. Um, everyone knows about King Solomon's prayer and what he actually prayed for. He prayed for wisdom and guidance and things like that. And since he didn't pray for riches and things of that such, he got all that and more. So it's like... Um, you guys know how to protect the future, so they trust you with... You're, they trust you with giving you your blessings. And uh, they trust you with, yes, heart, higher heart activation, dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. They trust you because you have a good heart. Um, they know that you are praying for the well-being of your children and your children's children. Holy grail, inner discovery, finding sacredness, you are what you seek. Yeah. You don't really need uh, too much of something out here. So you, you already have what, everything that you need. Any advice for this? Any advice for this? Energy? Hmm. Phoenix, how's that for happily ever after? Ooh, Feather, think first before you judge. There's a bunch of people out here in y'all's business again. Um, people misjudged you. They thought that you didn't deserve a position, but you obviously do. Um, yeah. So how's that for, for happily ever after? Someone out here tried to like literally throw shots your way. You've overcame all of them. Okay. 
That's what I'm getting out here. It's like, it's, I mean, I, I feel like I keep repeating this story, but technically someone out here definitely tried to um, send energy your way. And, I'm, and the book also said that people out here that only wish for riches and fortunes and things of that such to be on top, to be seen as someone that they're not, um, those people are, are not going to make it. They're not going to make it. Okay, let's see. What else, please, for the collective in this reading? We have Capricorn. You guys could be a Capricorn or you know someone who's a Capricorn. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we have your inspiration. We also have unlimited abundance. The Capricorn influence, rules, boss energy. You guys kind of make the rules and you know, in a way. Um, 11th house, groups, friends, families, te technology, hopes and wishes. One in a million. You guys are different from a lot of people. What else, please? Reap what you sow came out again, like in the last reading, okay? Yeah, you guys are reaping what you sow in a good way. You guys are reaping a limited abundance. Spirit says keep when you guys are, you know how to influence people, so keep doing it. Someone out here is cheating or, in, like, they're, they're trying to cheat their way to the top using a collective. Yeah, it's karmic women out here or a woman. Eighth house, only marries for money, what? A high priestess could be a fake high priestess. Shadow work energy is out here. Influencer. Hidden haters from a distance. You might not even know this person. I'm hearing you might not even know this person. Okay. And also you might not even, not only do you might not know this person, you're not even paying attention to this person is what I'm hearing. You guys are too busy, um, you know, being an influencer. Okay, so we have the magician out here and the Knight of Pentacles. You guys can believe, therefore you will succeed. Uh, you may not. Oh, I'm hearing you don't have a time. You don't have a time on your life. You know how some people have a time on their life or they have their five-year plan. It's cool to have a five-year five -year plan, but if you don't, it's, I mean, as long as you keep moving forward, you'll be okay. And you know that you will um, be taken care of every step of the way, especially if you're being watched by the divine. Yeah, you don't have like a time on your life on when you need to get things done, um, when you should finish school or something like that. It's just like you're taking things step by step. It's like the tortoise and the hare energy. Okay, let's see what's going on with this reading. Holy Spirit and angels, ten of swords. What else? What else? Yeah, there's definitely endings out here. Something out here cannot be revived. Something out here can't come back again. Some sort of plan can't be done again. Yeah, Nine of Swords. So we have Gemini and Aquarius energy out here. Someone is stressed out. They're not tapped into the abundance. Yeah, there's people out here fighting and all kinds of stuff. What's going on, please? Could be a group of people out here that try to cheat their way to the top. They try to do it together, so there is no strength in numbers. I guess that's what this story is talking about. There is no strength in numbers. Three of Pentacles in reverse. There is no strength in numbers. There is no strength when you work together and, and try to plot on somebody or try to, like, uh, cheat. A Someone out here try to cheat a collective out here, but with help. So this is not one of those leaders that um, work on their own and... This is someone out here who has people helping them uh, confuse the collective or something like that. And it still didn't work. Yeah, Seven of Swords Universe, it still didn't work. They all got caught or something out here. What the heck is going on? A lot of air energy out here. So there was a lot of communication about this. Yeah, and they're losing money. Someone out here is losing their reputation. They are. 
they're missing out on a lot of money. Sony has like fake materials out here or like either fake jewelry. They got fake cars. They got fake something out here. They got help. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. This is a mask one. I knew it. Nine of Wands, they're going through it with their freaking magic. They were trying to uh, send out magic to you guys. Yeah, they were doing something over and over again. And not only that, that's all this person knows how to do. Someone, okay. Someone either marries somebody for money or this masculine is in a, in a relationship with someone that just wants them for their money. This person is going to be like left behind. Like this masculine out here, they're going to be left behind because they chose the wrong path or something like that. This person just wants a, someone wants a uh, social media type relationship or social media type of friends group. And those people just want them for their money. We have the two of wands out here. Yeah. That's why you shouldn't pray for money. We have the knight of swords in the reverse. This, that's what this person was praying for. This is one of those people. I don't know why I'm channeling this. This is one of those people who will scroll through YouTube and find those manifestation videos that brings you money overnight or whatever the heck, whatever the heck they think it's going to do. And maybe they got that, but they're losing it or like uh, people are leaving them. They have no type of collaborations. They don't want to be worked with or something like that because that's all that they prayed for. They didn't pray for wisdom. They didn't try to manifest uh, peace in their life. They didn't try to manifest none of that. They just wanted to manifest money, clout, riches, fame, uh, women or men or whatever the case may be. And it's not working. You got to watch what you pray for. King Solomon. We have the uh, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they have no type of knowledge of something. Someone here is very imbalanced in their life. They don't really have the appropriate knowledge. Someone out here just went as far as the divine let them go. But since while they were on their journey, they weren't collecting jewels. They weren't collecting gifts and blessings. They weren't collecting, they weren't doing things from the heart. They were just simply doing things out of like a pure attention. They didn't have good intentions for what they were doing. You're different. I feel like you, you learn. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. What's this person's problem? And they're blaming the people that they're working with now. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. They don't. They also don't like this energy of, of an independent person out here. The Hierophant in the reverse with the Moon in the reverse with the freaking world out here. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah, they can't go to the other side of life. They can't, like... This is giving me, like, someone who... Has been very victorious in life. But they only reach a certain milestone. They can't get past it. Why? Because they don't even have the knowledge. King of Swords in reverse, and they block themselves from the knowledge too. They, they already think that they know everything. So therefore, they're going to be losing their abundance. They're going to be losing their homes and losing their friends, collaborations, business ideas. Things are just going to be going downhill for them because they didn't pray for the right things. Therefore, their kingdom is not as sturdy as a, 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 king, a kingdom should be. Four cups in the reverse. Let me get another one. For the collective. We have the hermit out here. Someone is isolated. Death in the reverse. They're trying to figure out why the heck they can't change. They have no sort of protection. They can't even tap into their heart space. Like, it's like, it's not good. They don't have good intentions for something. So something is backfiring on somebody. Someone could also be a fake spiritualist too. They just don't know how to um, follow their intuition correctly. They don't know how. I'm hearing they wish that they went back and picked up those jewels in the beginning. But they didn't. They never did. Maybe they, maybe they thought that they had time. Clarify the uh, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, please, for the collective. This person is a fake leader. Clarify the Ten of Swords. But it's all right. They should have, like, learned how to... I don't know. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Five of Cups. Or Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. And the Hangman. Yeah, someone out here definitely picked up all the jewels that they have been learning. 
Look at all these jewels they collected. They got out of the Five of Pentacles. They're not in that. They left those jewels behind. So you threw them away, the bad jewels, and you started manifesting. And now you got some sort of generational wealth or abundance out here. Like, so there's endings going on around you. There's endings going on either with a family or something like that. Or just like, there's drastic endings. Someone out here feels devastated. I'm also hearing that, like, you guys will never be broke again. Someone out here will never be broke again. Due to your... You, and you want to know something else this person is not going to learn. I feel like if you're the cross watcher and you're someone that is, you know, failing right now, you're not going to listen. You feel like you feel like you already have the answers. You hate that tarot guards are sitting here telling you about yourself, but it, this is what it is. Someone out here doesn't understand unconditional love. Clarify the um, nine of swords. They feel like people should be perfect or something. Clarify the nine of swords. When they prayed to God for their riches, they prayed for the riches and God gave that to them. But God knew what, that it wasn't going to last long because you're sitting there praying of riches and not wisdom. And that's a bad idea. Page of Swords in reverse. You have no wisdom. King of Wands in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, and Nine of Wands. Dang. So you stressed out. You jealous of everybody. I'm not talking about the uh, Divine Collective, but whoever's watching me right now, the Cross Watcher, they're stressed out. This is a man. This is a man. You're stressed out. You're jealous. You could be jealous of women or you're jealous of people that are happy. You're angry all the freaking time. You just got this weird energy around you. Nine of wands, too. You got two nines out here. Someone here can't take something anymore. You, because you, you didn't pray for wisdom. You guys know you can ask God for whatever you want. And he'll, he'll probably give you, he'll probably give you the blessings that you want. But if you don't pray for the wisdom, you're not going to hold that. You're not going to hold those blessings for long. Or if you don't pray for strength or something like that, you're not going to be able to hold up, you know what I mean, your life in the universe eyes. Clarify the three of pentacles in the reverse for the collective. The full queen of swords in the reverse and the queen of cups. Ten of Wands and the Star, the Emperor in the verse. Also picking up off of the story of a a bitter female. Who is this Queen of Swords in the reverse? Hangman hey upright. Someone doesn't like when other people are enlightened. Someone doesn't like when um, yeah, it's giving me like a. If you, there's an inspirational leader and there's a bad leader out here. The bad leader is trying to tell their friends and family members and collective not to go to the inspirational one. Yeah, that's what I see here. Don't go to the person that has intuition. Don't go to the person that is a loving person and do things from the heart. But you've got the seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles out there. you got the ten of pentacles and it's still growing. Like you're going to have... Like, if there was 11 of Pentacles card out here, it would definitely pop out for you guys because you guys are still growing. Clarify the uh, <laughs> Seven of Swords in the reverse. But they don't want nobody to go around you. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Well, anyways, they've been caught or they've been stolen from or they got caught stealing or something. They got caught lying or being a sociopath. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Swords. Get caught tower in the reverse and the five of swords and the knight of pentacles in reverse so they whatever they wanted to happen to you is happening to them and you guys are the queen of pentacles upright so we got these queens upright and these kings upside down so and there's only one queen that's upside down but that represents a lack of knowledge of something yeah this person has a lack of knowledge they didn't pray for that therefore they won't have that therefore they will never be a good teacher or an influencer they didn't pray for knowledge how are you gonna be how are you gonna pray to be an influencer but not pray for the knowledge. You're just praying for the money. This is one of those people that would. <laughs> Let me stop. These are one of those people that try to get you guys in some sort of pyramid scheme or something like that. And they'd be like, hey, look at my new car. But they never prayed for the knowledge or they never prayed for the uh, 
I don't know, this is like really funny to me because it's like they try to put you guys in some sort of Eight of Swords energy, but you guys avoided that and they're like looking at you like, what? They can't understand it. Now they're caught in this tower. This is crazy. Clarify the King of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is very mentally abusive and gaslighting. Three of Swords in the reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Devil in the reverse. People are detaching from them. Also, I'm getting like, I don't, I don't know what this energy is of them like, um, this could be a partner for some of you guys. They thought that they could keep you. I don't know, something about the reputation. You've healed from some sort of pain they try to put you in, though. And people are detaching from them, and their finances are stopping. So they were literally... <laughs> Believe it or not, this person was giving the riches back from the devil, but they're going to try to flip it and say it was you guys. But we see it right here. The proof is in the cards. They're being detached from, and since they're being detached from, they don't have that, like... Uh, that contract anymore that the evil contract is broken i don't know what they did to break a contract with the devil but the devil broke that contract off not even the devil is messing with them right now and they don't even have money because <sighs> they didn't pray for the right things they prayed for money and that was it so it was like they got a contract with the devil and not the divine but they want to flip it and make it seem like it's someone else Someone that's an inspiration. Someone else is that one in a million. Someone else out here prayed for knowledge and strength and capabilities. And then the money came after that. Someone out here did it backwards and they're trying to flip it and make it seem like you did that. No. Clarify the uh, two of wands. You guys could be traveling. We have the Hierophant in the reverse with the Six of Cups and the Sun out here. Yeah. Three cups in a verse. If you're wondering if you guys are doing the right thing, you are. You're breaking away from traditions. That's all. It just seems bad because you're breaking away from traditions. Maybe you grew up um, traditionally. But we got the sun here, so you're happy. You're free. You're breaking away from something like that. Also, I'm getting something like a... Like something about childhood memories. Someone out here maybe is trying to... Put your childhood memories onto you guys, and that's not working anymore. You guys got new plans. Clarify the uh, page of pentacles in the reverse. And you guys are also teaching as you're learning. I'm picking up Sagittarius energy. We have the nine of pentacles, the four of pentacles, and the eight of wands in the reverse with the queen of pentacles. Something about money is really big here. Someone is really jealous of you guys' money. I'm also getting like a... You have this energy where like a... Someone met you at the Nine of Pentacles, right? All by yourself. Pure. Innocent. Not attached to anything. Hopeful. But you, you were the Four of Pentacles, so you weren't always a... You just... You weren't all clout chasing all along. Yeah, you weren't clout chasing them. Eight of Wands in reverse. You didn't care about their clout. It backfired onto them. They're mad because you don't care about their clout. We have the Queen of Pentacles out here in the in the Three of Wands in reverse. The Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you only care about your money. That's why something out here backfired. Or you only care about your own stability or your own spiritual energy. You didn't care about someone's clout. So they did all that for what? Clarify the queen of uh, the king of swords in the reverse. This person doesn't live in their truth. Clarify the king of swords in the reverse. Or they try to gaslight a lot. You have the world card out here, the temperance in the reverse, in denial. Queen of wands. Someone out here hates women too. They're in denial about the how much confidence a woman has or how beautiful a woman is. Sagittarius energy. The cycle is closed out. It's like something out here is solid. And someone here hates the fact that someone out here is solid. Ace of Cups out here and the Five of Cups. They missed out on the opportunity of new love. They also missed out on the opportunity because they didn't love themselves. They're going through like bad karma out here where things are turning in your guys' favor. Um, things are balancing out the way that they're supposed to be. 
someone is not happy about this Mercury retrograde in Libra because, you know, things are going to be the way that they're supposed to be. And someone out here just, they can't handle that. They want everyone to, like, be in their face because they have some sort of, like, status. Or an old way of doing things. Like, the way that they're doing something is getting old and tired. Justice is in the reverse out here again with the three of wands in the reverse. So whatever they're waiting for, it's not coming in for them. Seven of wands in the reverse. I'm also hearing like they, th they wish they would have taken an offer or they wish they would have not jumped into something or they wish they would have been more enlightened. But since they're not that, they're going to try to flip it and make it seem like someone else is not enlightened. But you're reaping what you're sowing. If, if you're not in line, why are, you, why are you reaping what you're sowing? Why are you getting blessed by God if they swear up and down that you're a devil worshiper? And they are the ones that are, that are truly the devil worshipers because they were depending on the devil for their uh, finances. So what the heck? Clarify justice in the reverse. You're truly an inspiration and you're a lot different than this person and they're watching you. They're spying on you because of this. They don't know what to do. Everything about them is coming out. Something about their personality can no longer be hidden. And they know they can't change their personality. They know they can't change it. They've been, they're in it too deep or something like that. Clarify the hermit. Like, I cannot make this up, y'all. Clarify the hermit. Someone out here is forced to be isolated or this is you guys out here. Something about knowledge. Clarify the hermit, please, for the collective. Five of Cups, the Emperor in the reverse, and the Six of Wands out here, and the Ten of Wands. This Emperor out here hates being isolated. They hate being isolated, and they hate anyone out here succeeding. Like, what the heck is this? They're going to try to control people around them for attention. Yeah, the Seven of Cups in the reverse, they hate that there's no more illusions about what the heck is going on. They probably don't even have options anymore. There's some sort of position that went from a man to a woman. The emperor is in the reverse and the empress is upright. So this could be like a work or something like that. There's some sort of position that went from an emperor to an empress. Or there's something out here going on where like um, the men in the situation aren't getting as much attention as the women in the situation. Nine of cups and the four of wands in the reverse. Someone didn't pray for the strength and the wisdom. And that's about as nice as I could put it out there like that. It's never too late to learn. But I'm hearing they don't want to learn. They don't want to learn. Why would you want to learn something from someone that you talk bad about forever? Yeah, they're really insecure. They can't even be in this energy of just sitting down and breathing. Someone out here is like, uh, they don't even know how to step away from their work for a little bit. We have well-deserved reward out here. They don't take mental health breaks, mental health checks before they check back in with, I don't know, this looks like a collective type of energy. So someone out here knows how to, um, someone out here cheats the collective. That's what they do. They literally do that. They cheat the collective either out of money or energy or something like that. They're lying to their collective. This is crazy. Yeah, darkest fears. This, their, their darkest fears are happening right now. They don't want to be seen as a loser. Joy, or oh, I'm sorry, take the lead. I thought this was joy and stability. We have take the lead. Yeah, their darkest fears is someone out here taking the lead. Daydreams and decisions is out here. This came out before in the last reading. Let me get another one. Seek. Success and growth. You see what I mean? Someone, I, yeah, challenging times in reverse, refusing to see in the reverse, well-deserved reward. You guys aren't in this energy. Let me tell you something about uh, men and women. Women are open, open to receive uh, knowledge. Or open, I, I would say this, women are more open to spirituality than men are. Um, men, 
if you remember in the Bible, a lot of men weren't really open to Jesus' teachings, but the women were. You know what I mean? They were always open to learn, okay? Uh, the men had to be convinced in some sort of way through blessings or, you know, something like that or some sort of karma. But it's all out of ego. It's all out of fear. It's all about the unknown and, you know, it's like a... There's men out here that don't believe in listening to other men. Like, that's what I'm getting out here. They want everyone to listen to them, too. They don't want, like, like it's, a, it's that type of energy. And these are the type of men that I don't like when they speak because it's like everything that comes out of their mouth, it, like, they dance around the truth and they speak from a lot of ego. They speak from a lot of hurt. They gaslight women or just other people. Someone out here is gaslighting their collective. Instead of taking a step back and, you know, just taking a step back and loving themselves, not being in the energy of wanting to be seen all the time. Yeah, someone out here just wants to be seen. Like, I can't make this up. Like, I can say so much about this energy. You could tell what they pray about. When they pray to God, they don't, you could tell exactly what they're praying. For some of them don't even pray to God. There's a lot of devil energy out here. A lot of mind games and gaslighting. A lot of getting away with things. Also, someone could be, be um, putting out to the community that they're a really loyal person, but they're not. They're probably cheating on their partner or getting cheated on. So someone out here is, yeah, look, someone's trying to silence me because they're going through a generational curse right now. Someone in their family is like this, too, and they learned it from them. Uh, sixth house, health, fitness, service, given, analytical, and organization. Yeah, you're very um, organized. They don't like organized people. They want things to be, like, chaotic. Come to me for all your information type of energy out here. But they don't even take a step back to look at themselves. We have Libra energy out here. What is this? Anxiety, can't sleep. You know, there's a part of me that feels bad for this person, but at the same time, it's like you, you set yourself up for this because God was watching you the entire time. Racism, prejudice. Because you were either black or because you're a woman or because you're a spiritualist or something like that. Clout chaser. They don't like you, but they want clout off of talking about you. They want clout off of trying to silence you. Ninth house, travel, higher learning, religion, law, and ethics. See what I mean? They don't learn. And if they travel, they travel for the Instagram pictures. They don't travel to get some fresh air and breathe or try some new foods or something like that. They, they, do, it, they do everything for the clout, like literally. Community gossip. People are talking about this person because they're getting what they deserve. Libra energy, root chakra, anxiety, can't sleep. They're not secure within themselves. They don't truly know themselves like they claim that they do. All right, guys, this is your reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.